You know how sometimes you do this thing that you think you've done right, but you didn't do right? You don't find out that you didn't do right until well after the fact? Yeah, let's talk about that. So yes, welcome back to another episode of the Art Lessons Podcast. I'm your host, Dave Conry, and in this podcast, we talk about, rather, I talk about real-time ideas about how I'm building a creative life, and in hopes that you will glean a little something from my slow growth wisdom. I say slow growth because I made a mistake. I messed up, but I'm okay with it. If you listen to last week's episode anytime before Friday, you know what I'm talking about. What happened was, for the life of me, I cannot figure out how this happened. I somehow released the raw cut, the unedited version of my audio. I don't know how I did it. I don't know how that played out. And it probably sounded really, really freaking weird. Nobody said anything to me. Nobody said any, anything to me for three days. Some people said, well, I was going to say something, but like, no, please tell me, please tell me because I, uh, yeah, I don't want that to go on. I don't know how it happened, but it happened and I fixed it and the new file's up there. So if you listened after Friday, then you have no idea what I'm talking about. Probably better that way. I digress. If I ever mess up like that, Please don't be afraid to tell me. I'll happily fix it. I'm going to talk about mistakes in just a minute because I think it's something I want to address. But I wanted to say that this particular episode is brought to you by the Movember Foundation. And the reason I say that is they're not really sponsoring this, but I wanted to bring it up because some of you know I grew out the beard and the mustache for Movember. It's an organization that I donate to every November. This year has gone smashing. The reason it worked out this year for me is because of Facebook. See, my birthday is November 2nd, and some of you have probably seen this, where they say that you can donate your birthday to some organization. And I did that. I donated my birthday to Movember, and I made my goal within... 48 hours. So that's a plus. If you go to my Movember page where I had the pledge that I talked about last week, you're not going to see that because they don't connect. But I still made over $200 on the Facebook thing, made a little bit on the, a tiny bit on the Movember page. So I'm telling you right now that this is still going. This is all month long and I'm going to keep hitting you up because I think it's important. You don't know what Movember is about. Basically, it's a corporation, not a corporation. It is an organization that is dedicated to research and awareness of men's health, specifically prostate cancer. That's one of the main things. They do other things, but prostate cancer is a big chunk of what they talk about. And so, yeah, I'm raising awareness for it and raising money for it. And you can come check it out. Check out my page at mobro.co. Yes, that's actually what it is. mobro.co slash Dave Connery. We'll link to that in the description. If you want to know more about them, you can go to movember.com as well. Check out what they are all about. You can still get on if you're one of those people that want to donate and not just donate, but also participate. You can still get on. It's early, but specifically come to mine, mobro.co slash Dave Connery. Okay, brief conversation about mistakes because they happen, happen to me all the time. Mostly because of haste, because I'm rushing, because I'm juggling so many different balls that I sometimes drop one here and there, but I keep juggling the others. And so I'm okay with mistakes happening. This mistake on the podcast happened last week and I didn't flip out about it. It kind of freaked me out a little bit because when I figured it out, I was nowhere near a computer. I couldn't make the changes. And so it was going to be at least an hour or so before I could make those adjustments. That gave me a little bit of anxiety, but really when it came down to it, as I just swapped out the file and everything was fine. I think that often we are held back by our fear of making some mistakes. A lot of times people don't push forward because they're afraid of making the wrong decision. Whereas a lot of times I charge headlong into bad ideas, see if they work, even if they fail, and come back and fix. I said this to somebody just the other day, and I can't remember if I shared it here, but I'm sharing it again. I don't make mistakes. I make progress, and then I adjust as I go. So if you find yourself held back by mistakes that you might potentially make, well, cut that shit out. Get on with it. Go make your mistakes, because you're going to learn something from that even if you do. Do the thing, mess up, fix it, go again. Real simple process. Okay, a couple of quick updates. Number one, the art. This thing hasn't moved. I, I mean, I put a little spray paint marks here and there, but it hasn't moved. What did move was the table. The table is done, the table is gone, the table is at the show. I'll talk about that in a sec. I also created a few other pieces, which you can go check out my Instagram if you wanna do that. You can go to instagram.com slash Dave Connery, find me there. Go look at those new pieces that I created for the first Friday's event that I did this past Friday. So I had some artistic stuff going, but it's all going really well. And this week I plan on doing some more. 
more. Namely, this thing back here. Update on the show. The show went great. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I was participant in a show called 18 by 18. It was me and 17 other artists, and we all got copies of the exact same modernist table. It's about this 18-inch table, and we all got to do whatever we wanted with it. The interpretations on that table were amazing. There were some really great stuff. There were hundreds of people that showed up for this thing over the period of the evening, and that's still going on for another couple of weeks, or at least 10 days. Hopefully, everybody will get their table sold, and it'll be a really super awesome smashing success. On that note, I sold my table. Technically, I didn't sell it yet. There is an auction on all of the tables, and I have at least one bid on my table, so I am going to sell it. It hasn't sold yet. I don't know what it will ultimately sell for, and the money that I'm going to get from that, I'm actually donating to another organization. Now, why would I want to go and just donate all the money to that piece that I put so much time and energy into? It's because I didn't create the event. I didn't have any output as far as money except for paint. I didn't make the table. I didn't pay for the table. I didn't pay for any. Well, I did pay for my, some of my own advertising, but that was on me. Everything was basically given to me, and I got out of it not only an opportunity to sell a table that I created, but also I met a tremendous amount of great people. So it's a win-win for me, and I wanted to make sure that other people got a win out of it, and so yeah, I'm giving the money away. What I really want to talk to you guys about today, but the main topic is here, why was this show so successful. It had the potential of being a flop only because the guy who made the tables, the guy who created the event, this was his first group show that he participated in. It could have been bad because he's not real super strong on social media. Had he not participated as much as he did, had other people like myself and all the other artists participated, had the event not participated and given us in that opportunity, had all of those people not done their due diligence to make this thing happen, it could have flopped. But it didn't flop. It was a good thing. And uh, some people are going to sell their stuff and some people may not. Quite a bit of the stuff is going to sell, which is great. I think it really comes down to the collaborative effort of everybody who participated. If you've been hanging out with me for any amount of time, you know that collaboration is one of the words for 2017. Really didn't pick that word until like August of this year. Although I haven't been super aggressive on it. I have done some. And I think that this show really shows me and shows everybody else that when we work together, we work towards a singular goal. We actually do better as a unit. The bit about how the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. No matter how good any single one of us is, we are only great when we come together for a universal idea. And I think that's what happened here. And I think that that could happen in many different circumstances, even if it's just collaborating with one other person, me and somebody else, you and somebody else, you and I, collaborating to work together to build something awesome. Because when we do that, everybody grows. One of the artists there at the show, her name is Katie Stubblefield, really impressive individual. She said something to me that I'd heard in other places, but it just seemed to be a resonant idea for the night. Not only for the night, but I'd actually heard somebody else kind of mimic the idea the day before. A rising tide lifts all boats. Everybody works together, all boats get risen. The tide doesn't just rise for one boat over here and that boat over here. We all grow together when we work together. I believe this 100% that for us to be truly successful in the creative endeavors that we pursue, we need to be working with other people who are like-minded, not necessarily to our exact goal, but to a macro-level goal of moving forward and wanting not only to help ourselves, but to help others. So here's my challenge, not only for myself, but also for you. Sometime between now and the end of November, I'm going to reach out to more people to collaborate. More people to collaborate in other things, maybe not necessarily art, but maybe art events or maybe videos or podcasts. Work with other people to build something great. Maybe it's just a social media push. You work with this person, they work with you about growing your social media together. Say you exchange products. I give you this piece, you give me that piece, and we will share them and we will both grow each other, share each other's stuff. And it's a mutual thing that we work together. I am pledging that I'm going to do this with a few people before the end of November to make sure that I am solidifying this idea within my own self because it's fresh with me right now. It's super fresh with me right now. As things tend to go, if I don't act on them, they tend to disappear. I'm encouraging you to do the same thing. Act 
on what you're hearing right now. Go talk to somebody about how you guys can collaborate and work together and build something with each other. I honestly, truly believe that is how you and I and everybody else listening is going to grow in 2018 and beyond. Now, that can be a scary proposition because that means you have to put yourself out there and ask somebody else to want to put themselves out there for you. That's a little sketchy and mistakes can be made. Like I said in the beginning, screw the mistakes. Just go. Make it happen. Somebody is going to say no. In fact, lots of people might say no, but then somebody will say yes. When that person says yes, you are both going to benefit. If you'd like to collaborate with me on something, hit me up. I may not be able to do it. We may not work it out, but I'm open to the idea. Hit me up. Let's work. Okay, I'm going to wrap this sucker up because there is work to be done and people to go meet and things to do. So you and I need to go do those things and meet those people and make that art or whatever creative thing that you do and go do it well and don't worry about what anybody else thinks and who cares about mistakes. That's it, folks. Thanks a lot for hanging out. If you don't follow me anywhere else, yet you should go find me instagram dave conry snapchat dave conry facebook dave conry art youtube dave conry find me in all those places at dave conry and of course mobro.co slash dave conry if you enjoyed this and you like what i'm doing please go subscribe on itunes subscribe there or whatever other podcast app that you use to listen to this show subscribe and share it and leave a review if you get an opportunity if you're watching on youtube thanks a lot and i appreciate you but make sure you do the same subscribe and when you do there's a little bell there next to it and that will let you make sure that you never ever ever miss an episode youtube can be wily like that sometimes all right I'm out. Thanks a lot. Remember, be good today. Be better tomorrow. See ya.